Today, I'm going to show you Kaggle, which is essentially a brainstorming or mind mapping tool that allows you to visually show connections between ideas or topics. Once you go to Kaggle.it and you log in with either a Gmail account or account information, um, you're going to see on the left hand side here, you'll have three options. This is created by you, shared by you, and a gallery. If you're not familiar with Kaggle, go to the gallery and you can see the different types of Kaggles that have been created. You can see there are these kind of dotted connection lines if you want to do connections that way. You can also do connections by collect or connecting branches via this, or you don't even have to show connections. You could just show how different things branch off on different topics. Um, you can also see here there's a lot of information versus here there are really just small pieces of information connected with titles. So that's a gallery, but if you go back to created by view, you're going to click on the plus sign to create a diagram. I've already started a diagram for us, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. I started creating a diagram on the rock cycle. Um, the first thing when you click in here, it's going to ask you if you want to collaborate with someone. If you have students creating these and they click the plus sign to create the diagram, and they have the email addresses of the people that are working in their groups, I would have them fill those in right now. Otherwise, they can click hide for now. So as you can see, I have the rock cycle, a picture of the rock cycle, and two different branches right now. We know that the rock cycle has three different types of rocks. So if I go over here and hover on top of the rock cycle, I can click on this plus sign, and I can make a new one for sedimentary rocks. As you can see from the other titles, they are bold. And so what I'll do is I'll click bold, and I want to italicize this so I can change those features and click out, and there you have it. I also want to add rocks in here. So let's just add rocks, and it's changed the settings for that one too. Now I want to add different branches for sedimentary rocks. I have two types of sedimentary rocks that I want to show. So I'm going to click the plus sign twice, and as you can see, there's two different branches. The first type I want to put in here is limestone, and I have a picture of limestone. One of the things that you need to know about um, Coggle is that it's not connected to a search engine, so you aren't able to like click on image right here and have it do a search for you in Google or in Bing, but um, what you'll have to do is you'll have to find those images ahead of time, hopefully creative common images, and then save those to your computer to upload here. So I'm going to click on image, and I'm going to grab the limestone image I have saved in my computer. You can see right here, it's the code for that image. But if I click out, you're going to see the image up here. One of the things you notice when you put an image into this section is that it's hovering over that text. And you can't add the text or another image until you move this. So what you'll do is you'll click on um, the top of this image, and you'll just pull it down to drag. Now you can see the text for the next one is open. So if I click on to edit, I have the image here. I'm going to add sandstone as my other sedimentary rock type. And if I click in front of this code, I can type in sandstone, and if I click out, that image is going to appear. So now we have our three types of rocks, and we want to show our connections between different types of rocks and how they become others. So for instance, if I look up here with granite, granite is an igneous rock, but if it's metamorphosed, it becomes nice. So what I can do is I can hover over this plus sign, hit control, and click, and this menu will pop up. It'll say drag to create a link, which is what we're going to do. You could comment here, you could add another branch, um, you can remove this item, you can change the color, any of these different things. So play with these options, and the way you get there is a control and a click on a plus sign. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag to create this link. So I'm going to unclick my control, and I'm going to click with my mouse on the drag link, and I'm going to start to drag. And as you can see, there's going to be a dotted line that's going to be going across, this, um, going across the screen. So what I'll do is I'll go down here to nice. I'm going to connect it with this type of rock. I'm going to let it go. And as you can see, there's the dotted line. So what I can do is I can click on this line, and sometimes it'll move it down, but you can see that it's no longer really like a bright color. And I can do a control and click. And what's going to happen here is I can add a label. So if I add this label, I can just say it's met, let's see, metamorphosed. And I can also drag this down this line just in case it's not in the right spot. And here I could like do different connections. So what does metamorphose mean? I could click on this plus sign. Oh, it's not going to let me because it's an awesome feature that I don't have. So what we could do if we had the awesome feature is we could click a plus sign, we could add a definition. But here we can't do that. So what I'll do is I'll just scroll this up so that it's back on the middle of our screen. We can do the same thing for different connections here. Um, let's say we had sedimentary rocks and we wanted to make another branch. We could always say sediments. So if I have sediments here and I drag that down and I want to show that if I take sediments and in order for them to become sandstone, I would do a control click. I could click on this, unclick the control, grab this with your mouse, drag the create link and drag it from sediments to sediment or to sandstone, which is a sedimentary rock. 
if I click on this image or this line, what's going to happen is it's going to become more transparent. If I click out away from that and I do a control click, what I can do is add a label. And let's say I want to put compaction and cementation here. I can always drag this so that it's out of the way, but that would show my connection between those. So moving this back over um, into the center of the page, you can see my different connections that I've made and also the labels that I have. Um, so this is one way that you can show connections between different ideas. It doesn't have to just be for the rock cycle, but it can be for any type of topic. Now let's say we want to add another branch to show the connection between sedimentary, igneous, igneous, and metamorphic, and metamorphic and sedimentary rocks. What we could do is we could add another branch here. We can make this a different color by doing a control click. We could change the color. Let's do red. And we could grab the text and we can move it to igneous. And you can see there's an arrow here. So maybe we want the arrow to point straight to igneous right there. And then maybe we want to do the same thing for igneous here. So we add another branch and we want to change this color. So we do a control click. We do the same color red just to be consistent. We put our mouse over the text. We drag down. We're going to go to metamorphic here. It's gotten a little crazy. Sometimes it's hard to navigate this. What we could do to metamorphic, let's just, let's just scroll it down here a little bit. All right, drop it. And then we could do the same thing for metamorphic with a new branch. Control click to change the color to make sure it's consistent. We could grab onto that text and swing it over here to sedimentary if we wanted to. And it might go under there, but we can do some adjusting if we need to. So that would show the connection between the different types of rocks just with a darker line. But if you're showing connections, I think one of the great ways is to have this um, kind of dotted line just so that you can see that, okay, these are the branches that connect to sedimentary, these are the branches that connect to metamorphic, but this is how they connect with other sections. And so that becomes a little more, the line is more transparent and it doesn't get so busy. So anyway, that's how you could use Coggle to show connections between different topics. Um, it's gonna take a little practice. Definitely get used to the control click feature of Coggle um, and work as a team. Collaborate. Make sure you go up here to the top where it says um, the plus sign so you can add people to the project so that they can work on it with you. And then when you're finished, you can always download this Coggle, you can share the Coggle, or you can present the Coggle. I hope that helps.